Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Andre. This is the Op Zone. Zone. And today we got another one for you guys. So today we're looking at an enclosure by Asus. Um, it's pretty unique enclosure, I think. Um, this could be like, this could be an old one for some, for some of you guys. But to me, it's brand new. <laughs> so forever, for, so for, so forever who is looking for an enclosure, um, could maybe go come to this video, maybe run run to this video and like what they see here and do a purchase. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so let's get to that enclosure and uh, see how you guys like it. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to the table. So we got a little surprise here for you guys. Again, it's nothing new, but it's new to me. And uh, hopefully this unboxing and a quick overview of this device will help someone out there. All right, so let's get the trusty box opening knife. Oh yeah, look at that baby. All right, so let's cut this up. So yeah, I've been looking for like an enclosure for a while. Um, you know, I'm stop working more. Here we are. So the rogue, the rogue, Strix, Orion, or Orion by Asus. All right. Let's get this thing opened up. Look at that knife. Make it more dramatic, you know. Go, well, guys. So at the very moment, I have a few M.2 cards. Okay, back. So yeah, so I have a few, a few M.2s here. You know, I got this here. Um, this uh, Samsung 980 Pro. I have the two two terabyte uh, 970, 970. Then I have some PNYs. All right, uh, but yeah, and then I have a, uh, and I have this one right here too as well. So I just so my my focus on this will be just since I'll be working more often, just a little bit more often at work, and I want to do some video editing. You know, I'm a break at work or some downtime. I'm able to do that, so I figure I have a. A fast, um, um, a fast memory. Uh, sorry, file transfer device with me. So I, I looked into this, and I chose it just because of the style of it. When you look online, you don't see too much. Um, I would say good-looking <laughs> enclosures. Some of that, that that sticks out and say, "Hey, look at me!" You know, I got this. I, I got some style. Some of them just don't look too cool, you know. This one sticks out a lot. It's very, it looks very cool. Uh, I would say this came out sometime. But this came out. I want to say this came out in 2020. Um, but I will double check and let you guys know because when I look at the CES, the CES it says 2020. So maybe around that time it came out, but it got a lot, a lot more popular. I think the year after, yeah. The year after got a little bit more popular so i just may put i'll probably just put this one in um the pin y um reason being is because yes the, it's not as fast as, as in speeds but i believe it'll still get the job done the way i want to do because i don't do too much memory um file transfers so i believe that that should be enough for me so let's get this thing open okay guys If you guys uh, like this 
particular angle let me know down in the comments down below if you like the over the top uh the top shot i could do that too as well i'm just trying a little something different in terms of the angle shots uh, i did got a new lens as well and i'm actually using my phone to control the the camera which i find a lot better to do instead of having to look up at the lcd screen behind the camera so here, so here it is Pretty, wow, it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. Uh, let me see if you guys can see how thin it is. Inside a little bit of plastic. Looks pretty cool, right? So, piece of candy. <laughs> Slide it out. There you go. Um, so, this is it. All oh, glory. This, when I first saw this, it reminds me of something like Cybertron. You know, if you if you guys are familiar with um, uh, Transformers, this reminds me of Cybertron, their home planet. <laughs> you know, the design, the sleekness, the little detailed etches. It reminds me of Cybertron. So, oh, this is pretty nice. And then when you see on when you look online, you don't see too many of something like this. You see them; they look plain. They look ugly they look they don't, they don't look as cool as this you know I, and i believe that's why asus came up with something like this because of the style that, that no one has done before right so it's led i believe that lights up when it's powered on so let's try to get this thing open and see what we can do with this uh pny all right so let's see what's in here and i believe what i understand is that you don't need tools all you need is what is given to get this thing um, set up. So here's the SIM eject, well, I call it a SIM ejector tool. When I used to work for Verizon, um, we used to call these SIM ejector tools. So I'll just call it the ejector tool, All right? Since we're not working with the SIM card, I'll just call it the ejector tool, see? That's basically what it is. It just, you poke it in a hole to inject either the door or a SIM card. So I'll call it the SIM injector or the, or the injector tool. All right. Okay, so put that aside for now. Uh, again, guys, if you guys like the content, please let me know down below. Um, this look like a little keychain. I don't think I'll be using any kind of keychains <laughs> on or a backpack hook. See? You put this on your backpack. I see some advertisements where you put this on your backpack, let it hang. I will not be doing that, and especially nowadays. You can't trust nobody. <laughs> so this I'll probably, or what I could probably do, I do have a gym bag. So I'll probably show you guys how I did that. Go we'll do that. I have a gym bag, but I lock it inside. It's on my gym bag, on my book bag. So this could be useful, but not. I will not hang this on the outside of my backpack. You crazy? Yeah, you lost your mind. All right, so that's put away. So this looked like the rubber. This looked like a protector. It looked like a, yeah, it looked like a protector, a bumper for the enclosure. So I'll probably put this on after I, uh, after I set it up. Give me a, sorry guys, hold on. There you go. Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. Sorry, but I don't know why. All of a sudden my computer behind me is Cortana's been acting up. I don't know why she feels though she has to interrupt me every once in a while. Anyway, so this is everything. You take it out. Oh, you got some wires back here, some connecting wires. Again, this is for anybody who is looking for an enclosure. Uh, maybe they saw this online and for the newbies. I'll say for the newbies because all the all the experienced guys really saw it. Everybody's ready, is already familiar with this type of thing. Um, some aren't, so this is for this. So this video is for those who isn't familiar with enclosures, especially from ASUS, right? So uh, if you guys know anybody that's looking for enclosures, share the video. You know? So what we got here. We got here Type C to Type C. All right. Over this one, uh, yeah, Type C to Type C. Um, on my PC, on my motherboard, I have the Dark Hero Pro uh, X570, and I believe I have the. Uh, no, I do. Do I have? I do have the Thunderbolt. Let me go ahead. I do have a Thunderbolt connection there, so this would be useful for if anybody has a Thunderbolt connection. This would be it. Uh, 
Um, this one is a USB to Thunderbolt. Uh, this thing is a 3.0 and a USB, uh, no, sorry, Type-C in. So this is, could be useful too as well. Let me see, let me see you guys saw that. I'm not sure you're going too fast for you guys. So yeah, so the blue tip, then you have the Type-C. Type C to Type C. Right. Come with a little installation guide, installation guide. You see, you got a one uh, uh, injector tool. It tells you where to insert it. Pop the latch open or the door. And I guess there's a notification inside the door. You remove that. Use the same tool to screw out the screw. This is going to be the M.2 screw. Screw, sorry. Then you insert the SSD. It show you a closer version of it. I guess you'll line up the notch. If you can see the notch, if you, if you can see, you can line up the notch right there. Very easy, guys. Very easy. Very easy. All right. Then once it's in, you screw it back to this, this M.2 screw, and then you're able to slide, uh, uh, move forward, screw it in tight, and close back the door or the hatch. All right, so let's get this thing popped open. Again, the ejector tool, that's what I call it. I don't know what you guys call it online. The thingamajig or the pointy thing. So, let me see behind, so. Pop this open, you slide it in there, I'm gonna get a little closer for you guys. So there it is, right? So, yeah, right in there. Okay, you see, and it just pops open just like that, wow. It's almost like fluid, like, it's like, it's like, look at that. It's like, you don't hear nothing, let me see. Let's just, let me see if you guys can see. So what we're looking at right here are thermal pads. There's my hand. So thermal pads. This this is what um, helps with the heat that generate from transform files from the M.2. So these are heat pads, okay? Thermal pads. So I wouldn't touch these with my hands. Because right now I got my hands are very greasy. So uh, yeah, these are the thermal pads, right? And the you can tell it's metal. It's pretty. It's pretty hefty. A little hefty. I don't have a scale to uh, measure, but just have to take my word for it for now. <laughs> it's pretty. A little hefty. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Just mess out the way. All right. So this is the enclosure. This is the the Mac Daddy of them all. You know. So you can tell. You can see. You can see. It's what it says. Please initialize your new blank SSD before using it. You may refer to the user manual for more information. All right? That I probably do another video. So you get rid of that. All right. All right. So as you can see, back in the manual, it shows you like a little notch. So I'm gonna get closer. You see a little notch right there. All right. So that notch right there will get you set up for the M.2. So let's get that thing out of the box. I, I, I would want to. I want to try this one because the others, the Sam's, the Samsung S the M.2 that I have, I'm going to put in my rig. Uh, think about cloning the current boot M.2 from Windows and put it in one of those uh, two, uh, two gig uh, M.2s, right? So for now, I'm just gonna use this. This is more than enough speed, I believe. Uh, if I see any hiccups, sure, I will change it up, but I believe this will be fine. I do have the XPG. Let me show you guys that real quick. XPG, uh, this is a uh, PCIe 4, fourth, fourth gen. 
Um, the, one, the thing about this one, I like. Yeah, I, I don't got a PS5, guys. So don't even, don't even ask that. I don't have a PS5 or a, uh, I have a, I have a PC. That's what I have. I got no PS. Um, the thing about this is the writing speed. Uh, this threw me off. This just blew my mind. I don't know if you could. I don't know if you guys could see that. I'll probably zoom in through post, but. It, the right speeds guys you won't believe it right read speeds is 70 7400 megabytes per second crazy and you have the uh, right up to is 6800 very crazy um this i may want to put this in a build um again i have a, i do have a build coming up in the future my daughter's build and we're about to make a big move from where we live right now. So eventually I'm sure my wife will want a computer for her little office. So yeah, I have a lot, I, have, I say I have about two more PCs to build in the near future. I do have a lot of parts I do sitting here. But yeah, back to what I was saying. All right, so let's get back to the video. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna unscrew this. Oh, oh there we go, let's screw this out. So like 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 I said, uh, once you once you um, once you pop this thing in here, you have to uh, basically format it uh, uh, or allocate it because the PC was not going to recognize recognize it at all. So you have to set it up. I'll probably do another video. All right. So this is the P uh, PNY solid state drive. Look like a stick of gum, don't it? Now, for those who may not know what's watching this video, please do not remove this sticker. Okay. So, like I said, do not remove the sticker. Uh, keep the sticker on, it's designed to dispel heat as well. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to slide this in to that notch. I'm gonna try to look the camera so you guys can see. So, slide that in, right there. You gotta just push that down. Push that down with the screw inside there. See that? And then you just put the screw. So let's do that right now. Okay. Boy, you gotta have small hands for this, boy, I tell you. Alright, so. Just turn, just twist until you can't twist no more. Right there. Okay, now it's officially in, guys. It is in. Let me show a close up. It is in there. Right. Now I'm gonna put back the door. Again, do not touch. I wouldn't touch these thermal pads unless you have some sort of reason to. But other than that, um, uh, if you don't touch it, I wouldn't touch it. Just your greasy hands and just put it back on the enclosure. So I gotta figure out which direction it goes. So let me see, is it this way? So oh, there you go, guys. That's it. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I feel like it's in. I feel like it's not in all the way though. Look, see. Gap there. Let me see what, what what's going on. Let me see what's going on. going to fast forward it I want you guys to see what I'm doing so that way if it happens to me it may happen to you too as well so oh look at that you could tell look you can see what happens so when you push it down you 
You see the mechanism, right? In case you guys want to see us here. This is what happens. See that? Very clever. Very clever. Should have one more time, guys. So it's pretty cool. Okay. So let's get that thing inside. No wait. Oh, I think I locked it back in there again. Hold on. So what happens is that you put the notch in the notches. It's like three notches here. You, you put them in first, and then you you drop it down to the into the mechanism. That's how you do it. So now it's actually closed. See, no gap. Let's slide this thing, in, guys. <laughs> Let's slide this again so you guys can see how it looks. Sorry. Uh, let me see. So I guess this is the, this is the white way. Run this way. So this, I believe, is a bumper, right? So if you happen to drop it, have some sort of protection, right? The one thing about M.2s is that it don't have any moving parts, right? So you don't really have to worry about it um, dropping and you have corrupted files. The, there's no needle that will stop functioning on a hard drive, nothing like that. It will actually continue working just as, just as you bought it the same day, just as you bought it the same day, right? There's no, you don't worry about it. Um, anything getting corrupted, missing files. Um, the only thing I believe you may have to worry about is overheating. Um, or it will just die just because it feel like dying. But other than that, there is a bumper. Um, yeah, if you drop it, you got some protection. Uh, you know, so I, this I'll probably keep on most likely. Are you able to? So while it's on, right? It seems as though you cannot use this. Obviously, you can't use the ejector tool while this is on. So you have to take this off. But you are able to use the Type C. Uh, media transfer cable while the bumper is on, which is a cool thing. Um, where did I put that? Uh, there it is. So this, this could be useful for some people. Um, how would this go on? Wait a minute, you tell me. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see. So I guess you have two options, top or bottom. <laughs> how you like it, top or the bottom. So anyway, so you, you slide this in there. Let me see if I get this in there. There you go. And then you have your little hook. Um, you were, I rather, I, I would probably hook this into my book bag. 
the inside, not the outside, guys. The inside. And these thieves out here don't know how to behave. People don't know how to behave, guys. So this is very useful, uh, especially if you have a deep book bag or a deep purse or a deep deep gym bag, and you don't want to be shuffling that bag to look for your your hardware. Just hook it up close to maybe a zipper that's. That's my lungs, that's inside the bag. I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, Alright, here's the bag. More, some more for you guys, you guys can see it. gym bag so I do, I do keep this in the car and this is the so this is the device let's see where we put this leave the leave the compartment on the side slide it in too so let's see it Sorry guys, my light just died, but it looked like you guys could still see it, so that's okay. You know, things happen. There you go, it's in there. Alright? It's in there. Ain't going nowhere. You slide that back into the back. Zip it up. You all set. You good to go. Yeah? Welcome to the welcome to the op zone guys. So yeah, so if you guys want to know more about that bag, I actually got it from Amazon. It's a pretty cool bag. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, that's everything in a nutshell, guys. So if you guys like that stuff, if you like what y'all see, leave a comment down below. Um, again, welcome to the office. My name is Andre. Until the next one, guys. Peace.